if if a church was, you know, most of the churches we you you run across kind of struggle in trying to move towards a more missional mindset and, and figuring out how do we really engage in the community and stuff. Are, are there some common areas you see people getting stuck in? And if so, is there a way to get past them? Well, one thing I do see, and it's, it's a, it is sad when I see it, that you'll get a young guy come in, let's say he comes into this congregation, and he goes, oh, you know, we're doing it all wrong, and we need to blow the whole thing up, and we need to do it this way. And, and that's sad. Now, I'm 50, so you know, I'm like going, you know, I, I could be one of the casualties in that whole thing. But uh, what's sad about that is that we have to appreciate the history that we've had, and we have to appreciate the people on, which, on whose shoulders we're standing, right? Because we are all standing on shoulders to one degree or another. And so one of the things I do encourage is if you have a congregation that has been a uh, it, it's been a, down one particular path for quite a while, and that path is not as missional or progressive or open to the community, however you want to phrase that. Uh, I think the key is who your leadership team is, who's, who, who's the one that can speak in, who holds the keys to that congregation, okay, can speak into that. But then my encouragement is just go back to what Jesus says, you can't put new wine in old wineskin. And I think there's a lot of truth there. So we encourage guys, if they're doing revitalization or whatever, is to build a parallel universe. All right, run a parallel universe. Uh, start a new for new. Uh, but what's really important in this is the leadership have got to be sold out for the new. They can't be kind of sold out for the new or a little sold out for the new or we'll have this guy go do it and we'll all go stand back here and cheer him on. You know? And so I think that the new wine and a new wineskin uh, because what we find, at least, is that the, the, what I would just call older people, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, they love being a part of something that's growing and alive. They really do. I mean, you know, and they love multi-generation. They love to see kids running around and all that kind of stuff. So what we're, we try to do is to say, how can, we, how can we bring life into this without denigrating this? Uh, I mean, you know, you turn 65 or 70, and do you really want to try to change my whole life and make me give up all this stuff that, that at one time you said was important to me, okay? And you taught me that it was good and everything. So uh, I think that's, that's a big challenge for churches in Mainline, in LCMS especially, because most of them aren't going to have that DNA that say, how do I reach my community? They're, it's just not there. Uh, oftentimes they're not even living in the community. They worship in the community, but they live outside of the community, which is a whole other issue, too. We say if you're going to start a church in a community, you've got to live there. You've got to be part of the community. Don't try to start some church here and you live out here. Uh, start it indigenously. And so I would say that as well for congregations who are wrestling with that. Who, we attract who we are. Okay, that's another sociological principle. Uh, we attract who we are. And so if you're trying to change your church, then you should be looking and turning over all the rocks to find a person to, you, to whom you can entrust leadership who looks like your community and looks like the type of person you're trying to reach. And that's hard for us in our denomination because we don't, we don't have a lot of that. We're a pretty Anglo denomination, and yet many of our churches are not in Anglo communities. Uh, where are we going to find then these new leaders? We need to be praying for them and identifying them and equipping them and releasing them and supporting them as much as we possibly can, even from within. So, yeah, wow. I mean, it's a long road, I understand, but we got to get started at some point or else, you know, everything's done. <laughs>